how to grow your money in the biotech sector in 2024. Today, let's dive into some of the nuances of making money from the biotech sector as a bioprofessional. So welcome to Biotechnica, everybody. Today, in this special episode, we are going to try to cover up some important key pointers which will help you understand how the biotech industry works and what all things you should be doing, pick and choose, to earn a lot of money. Now to start with, I remember uh, in 2006 December, my mentor said this that, Shekhar, if you are not growing, you're dead. And I firmly believe in this process that yes, if I'm not growing, then consider myself dead. So how do you grow? How do you make a lot of money in the biotech sector. So if you are planning to invest, like, okay, invest in the share market into some biotech companies, this video is not for you. This video is for you if you want to earn a lot of money in the biotech sector as a bioprofessional. So basically, we're all going to talk about the careers and how can you do that. Do that. So yeah, going and investing in share market has its own consequences risks as well as rewards more the risk more the reward but definitely that's not the game which you would like to play instead you should be playing a game which is safer a safe bet but still is rewarding right to be very frank i know a lot of people who are earning probably 38 crores per annum so this is uh, something i was just looking at a scientist who was the chief scientific officer of big pharma company in india and he was getting a you know, package of 38 crores per annum. So huge money, right? So it's not that you cannot get there. It's just that you should know what you should be doing as a fresher, as a beginner, as a bioprofessional to get there, right? So to start with, you should associate yourself. I'll repeat this, okay? You should associate yourself with something which is growing. And biotech industry is growing. Pharma industry is growing. So a um, overlap of this is where a lot of money can be met, okay? So now, uh, starting with, first we have to identify the 10 fields which will help you make a lot of money. So I'll tell you that also in this video. But apart from that, I will also uh, tell you the tips and tricks and techniques which you can utilize to climb up the ladder, okay? Now, if you are somebody who has just passed out and who is, you know, who has just started looking for a job, this video is for you. If you're someone who is into the industry already one, two, three, four years, already earning some money, this uh, video is for you. And if you're already established, then probably you already know what has to be done. But if in case you want a revision, yes, this video is for you. Now let's start with the 10 or top 10 fastest growing field within the biotech sector, which you can associate yourself with so that you can grow, right? And the first one among them will be gene therapy. So gene therapy and editing is something which we all know crispr cas9 it is having the ability to treat genetic disorders improve the uh, agricultural produce and pest resistance and whatnot right climate resilience crispr has got great future it is going to be the growth driver of uh, biotech industry so if you improve your understanding of genome genomics molecular biology advancement and delivery methods and how exactly it is the potential to cure previously untreatable conditions if you can master crispr you can get growing. So if you have interest in wet lab and if you become the top-notch scientist in CRISPR, nobody can defeat you and you could be commanding a package well above 100 crores also in the future, right? Now, to be very frank, where exactly, which are the areas where you can earn a lot of money in CRISPR? Right now, you have Boston in USA, Bengaluru in India, uh, New York, and all these uh, pockets across the globe like European Union also, you have some pockets. So you can earn a lot of Money. Now, the second field where you can get in to, to earn a lot of money in the biotech sector is immuno-oncology. Yes, you heard me right. Immuno-oncology is a field which focuses on harnessing the body's immune system to fight cancer, developing therapies as such as CAR T cells therapy and immune checkpoint inhibitors. Now, what is going to drive the growth in the immuno-oncology industry is the breakthroughs which are happening on a daily basis. And we are understanding the tumor oncology better thanks to AIML. Also, the successful clinical trials which has happened in the recent past, it is making immuno-oncology one of the most promising areas in the cancer treatment field. So, obviously, immuno-oncology is growing. And why it is growing? Because the advent of cancer in regular people is also growing. So, the more cancer grows, the more the immuno-oncology research field will grow. So, CAR T-cell therapy, immuno-oncology therapies will grow. And that is where you can make a lot of money also. And of course, you'll be able to create a lot of uh, impact also in the society. 
So this is the second field which is growing faster than ever. The third field which you already have heard in the past is personalized medicine. So personalized medicine is all about tailor making medicine according to the person's requirements and or on his genetic profile and his optimizing the therapeutic efficacy and minimizing the side effects. So this is all about personalized medicine. Now what exactly is driving growth in the personalized medicine industry? Now that is uh, genomic sequencing and biomarker discovery. Now this is helping us enable more precise and effective treatments for a range of diseases, not just one disease. So that is where personalized medicine is going to have a huge mark and you can grow along with the field. You know, it's like you sit on the shoulder of somebody who can run fast, so automatically you are also moving fast, right? So these are the three fields which I told you till now. Now the next one which I have for you is synthetic biology. Now it you know, involves redesigning organisms for useful purposes by engineering them to have new abilities such as producing biofuels, biodegradable plastics, therapeutics. And there is a huge range of uh, synthetic biology based, uh, uh, you know, applications, which you can always Google out. But yeah, synthetic biology is one field where you can get it. The growth driver of synthetic biology, why you will be able to make a lot of money is because of the recent advancement in DNA synthesis, automation and computational biology, which is enabling the design and construction of new biological which was never possible. So that is why I will urge you that if you are interested, synthetic biology is also one field. If you can associate yourself, you can make a lot of money. Now, followed by that, because the fifth one which I have for you is something related to you, your own body, and that is microbiome research. And in fact, I have a great mentor here. Uh, his name is Dr. Manish Paul. He is the pioneer of microbiome research in India. And uh, he once told me that the study of microbiome, particularly in India and uh, the UK and US, is in infancy. And if somebody gets into gut microbiome, he is going to come out with a lot of money. So, yes, it is critical in health and diseases, um, understanding them. And le it is leading to new diagnostic and therapeutic opportunities for uh, scientists. So, yes, you can make a lot of money. Now, what will drive growth here? It will be the understanding or the evidence which we have found till date of understanding of the linking of microbiome with various conditions including metabolic disorders and mental health and this has encouraged uh, more investors to put in a lot of money into this field so if you get into research you can definitely excel the next one will obviously be cell therapy there is a sixth one for you so cell therapy involves the transplantation of healthy cells into patients to treat diseases such as of course regenerative medicine of course that is called a stem cell therapy and oncology. So what are the reasons with this field will grow is because immunotherapies are propelling the growth of the sector and uh, more and more demand for regenerative medicine is coming up day by day and of course it is it has the potential to replace the entire organ donation industry. So yes, cell therapy and uh, stem cell therapy is going to be a great money-making machine if you get into that research. Now, after that, I would say bioprinting and tissue engineering is also one aspect where you can get in. So, why you will be able to make a lot of money here is because you can develop biomaterials. Like, you could print biomaterials, you could use stem cells and printing technologies and enable creation of complex tissues. And uh, moving forward, you will be able to develop functional organs altogether like kidney or lungs. And that will be a great booster. So uh, these are the seven fields which I told you. But the eighth field is the real game changer. Okay. And why I say so? Because we are ourselves working with a Swedish company on this. And I can see it happening. It is called as Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning and Drug Discovery. Now, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning is actually a computer thing. But why are we applying in biology? Is because biology is much more complex than computers, right? So why not use computers to understand biology, implement biological concepts and extrapolate and interpolate the biological models to achieve our required goals. So that is where artificial intelligence comes into picture. Now the major growth driver of this is more access. We, today we have more access to genomic data. Today we have increasing availability of high throughput data and it that is revolutionizing the drug discovery process, that is revolutionizing the agriculture process. Any process you see in biological sciences, you can revolutionize in a cost-effective method, method with just a laptop and a bunch of open source tools. So that is where Artificial intelligence and machine learning will help you make a lot of money apart from whatever I told you till date. In fact, may, probably AI and ML will may help you make more money than any of the previous seven which I told you. And it requires no expertise as in 
you don't have to do a PhD for this. You can just get started with your master's or bachelor's also. The next one which I have for you is called as biosensors. Now, how can you make a lot of money with biosensors is something you have to understand with the fact that there is an entrepreneur whom I met three months ago. He sold his company for 300 crores in Bengaluru, okay? And how I know him because he had come with his daughter for career counseling. So he told me that he sold his biosensors company for 300 crores to another agri-tech company. And he made a lot of money. And all he understood about biosensors was because he did a small course on biosensors in IIC Bangalore. He analyzed and he realized that, okay, there is an opportunity and he used it okay so what he had actually done is he had created a biosensor which could in real time tell the farmer that what is the soil moisture and it could convey that okay this part of the field needs to be watered more and you can imagine the power of biosensors right and he already made 300 400 crores so yes biosensors is one aspect where you can so biosensors can be used not just in agriculture it can be used in multiple things and what is biosensor it is an advanced diagnostic tool which enhances your ability to detect any particular thing thing in your biological system. It could be disease, it could be moisture, it could be as simple as anything, right? Or microbes, right? The growth driver of this is going to be obviously the internet of things combined with the biosensors itself and of course point of care diagnostics, which was highlighted during the COVID-19 pandemic. We saw that. Now this has accelerated actually and the development and adoption of innovative biosensing technologies combined with this uh, satellite technology in agriculture. Yes, it is a great, great, great for all everybody in fact biosensors can be created for pollution in the lakes and ponds in the cities and in the tap water everything anywhere you can be you can utilize the biosensor and diagnostics so this is the ninth one where you can make a lot of money now the last one for you before now this is not the end of the video i'm going to tell you more tips and tricks but yeah the tenth one where you can make a lot of money is going to be agribiotech and sustainable now, this field focuses on biotechnological methods to enhance the crop yield, improve the resistance to pests and diseases, and of course, climate change, developing sustainable agricultural procedures, practices, and making sure that we have more produce, less time, more produce in the same amount of land, and more uh, because we have more mouths to feed, the population is exploding. Right? So, the global push for sustainable agriculture, climate change, climate resilience, the demand for more food by the growing population, and this is going to channelize the growth in the agri BT sector and that is where you can make a lot of money. So these are the 10 places if you associate yourself, you can make a lot of money. Now the question is, how do you get started, right? So first step is look for some training courses in these fields. Become an expert. So start with training, then do some project, become an expert. Once you have become an expert, publish some papers, establish your reputation in the industry, then go and find out some startups which are working on this. Say that, hey, I have already got experience, I have published papers, why don't you hire me? Start working there and slowly climb up the corporate ladder once you have got this job in the startup, work for three, four years. In the meanwhile, apply for a bigger company and they will uh, you know, absorb you because you already have experience of four to five years and then you climb the corporate ladder as you publish more papers, you get more patents and you grow in your career, right? And eventually you have to get to the chief scientific officer level. Now, I would like to end this video with uh, this comment which came uh, today itself and it says that uh, I'm getting a starting salary of 2.4 lakhs per annum, but my father gets 2.4 lakhs per month. Why should I do a job in biotech? Right? He is forgetting one thing that you have to start from A to reach Z. Your papa is an on Z already, right? If you compare with a, Z, a guy who is in on the page 400 of the book and you're starting on page one, you cannot compare apple with oranges, right? See, he also started somewhere around 5,000 rupees salary. Ask him that, right? So everywhere you have to start from zero. I also started from zero. I could reach here, right? So today I go to any lab, people will recognize me, say, hey, I, I know you, you are Mr. Sekhar Suman, the CEO of Biotechnica and we have been benefited by your product and services. So you can imagine that. And I started from zero. Everybody has to start from zero. So if you are feeling down that somewhere you're not getting opportunities, create opportunities for you, give you 10 examples of these fields, find out training programs, acquaint yourself, become an expert, build a reputation, go and do networking, reach out to scientists who, who would love to work with you. And scientists are very noble creatures. They will always say yes. Okay, most of the time they will say yes. So go ahead, do that and win the world because what stops you? It is only your self-doubt. Do not allow it to take over. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it uh, useful. Uh, comment below if you have any uh, 
continual questions, any questions you might have further, and I'll definitely make a, another video on you on that. Or otherwise, I will just reply in your comment section. Thank you so much. Keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.